put out a short that a lot of people liked. So if you're in the pentatonic and the modes and sort of trying to relate some of this stuff, which I know gets pretty daunting, um, stick around. Let's get into into some of this stuff. Um, the 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 deal with the short that I was I was honestly trying to make is. You know, when I have, uh, I'm gonna start, I'll just do minor for right now, because it's usually the first pentatonic that, that we learn on guitar, right? The, like if I'm in A, right, my A minor pentatonic, right? And what I love about that, the one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, right back to the one, what I love about that structure is it really gives us like a foundation. I, you know, I almost think of it like a, like a, like a strong, like sturdy castle, honestly. And uh, what it does not have, since in any of the modes, right, the, these diatonic modes that we're talking about right now, really just, just the seven modes, and I take low cream out too, I take the seventh mode out, um, and I sort of put that on its own, uh, on its own lesson, so really we're just dealing with, with six modes. At this point, um, they all have a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, or a seven. Now, it might be flat, might be sharp, right, depending on the mode, but there are seven notes to account for. Um, and in the pentatonic, there are only five. What is really convenient is within the minor modes, if I take the, the minor for right now, and this is gonna be the same exact concept that I'll get in for the major, major pentatonic with our, our major colored modes, um, is that my one flat three, four, five, and flat seven of my pentatonic, right, when I add the other notes in, a two or a six, those are the notes that determines what mode we're in. Uh, and we can always go back to, if we'd like, the pentatonic. And I think that does get overlooked for a little bit. If I were to play something, you know, and I were playing natural minor. Right, I start forgetting that I can still back to my pentatonic if I want to. I don't have to keep hitting, you know, if I'm in natural minor Aeolian, my flat six and my two every time I pass them. Really interesting concept to think of when we start getting into this because we really do feel like, no, now I'm playing Aeolian and I need to hit that two in flat six, you know, every time I pass it. Um, so you can always go back to the, the pentatonic and what is really nice is the pentatonic has that sort of structured sound. When we start adding the twos or the sixes, right? And then a natural minor, in this case, it would be a two and a flat six. Um, it starts to decorate, you know, what, what that, that the, the walls and that sort of structure, we start getting a little bit more decoration. We can always strip the, that decoration down. Um, if you listen to, you know, um, if you, you know, to sort of, sort of go on the, uh, along the same lines, but if you listen to um, maybe a lot of like Motown, um, they'll go back to the pentatonic, whether it's major or minor, but they'll go back to the pentatonic, even though the chord structure is definitely within one mode, the vocal melody will go back to these pentatonics, especially um, vocally if they're, if they're sort of like doing some riffs and runs, because um, it, it just has that sound, right? Um, it just has that structural sound and it sort of takes some of the, the decoration. I don't want to say fluff because I think that decoration is really nice. If we have something that's a little bit more, let's say like Spanish influence. You know, um, I'm sort of get, giving a little bit more decoration and a little bit more idea of where we are within that melody. Um, and I really like that. The, the, the beneficial part about learning the modes now too is if I have my my Aeolian, right, my natural minor. I have my one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, and flat seven. So I added my two and my flat six in there. And when we start getting further into, into some of the modes, the, let's just say the flat six, if I take that flat six and I just make it a natural six, one, two, flat three, four, five, natural six. Now I'm fully in. Right, my Dorian, A Dorian. And again, great, you know what I mean? But I might want to take that decoration out. Right, 
that and just go back to that pentatonic, which I think is really nice. Um, you know, in, in sort of visualizing this pentatonic and saying, all right, Aeolian, I'm gonna throw the two in there and I'm gonna throw the flat six in there. You know, um, I'm gonna throw the natural six and the two in there, right? For my, for my Dorian and then Phrygian, you know, if I really want that Phrygian sound. Flat two and flat six, right? We'll sort of be in there. Um, uh, so it it will help sort of relying on that pentatonic to 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 navigate the modes because we know you know the twos and the sixes are the important part in the minor modes, um, and we can we can sort of visualize this pentatonic within those modes and saying like okay. It's the added notes, right? Those notes are gonna be my 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 sturdy, not even sound, even though that's sort of how I think of them related to sound, but um, those notes will always be there. You know what I mean? And you just sort of have to say like, okay, well, that's my two, five, three, okay, that's, that's my flat six. Uh, if I just take that up, okay, now I'm in Dorian. You know, a really nice way to do it. Um, and this same concept applies to you know, the major modes, if I have my Ionian, if I'm an A here, my Ionian, and I do have my my major pentatonic, one, two, three, five, six, one, um, which I think is really good. You know, same thing if I go down to, back to, to, to Motown, you know, even if we have a, and I'm hitting that four chord, right, a lot of those melodies will still just stick to the, because it has that same idea, that same structural sound, right? That. You know, which is really nice. We start adding the decoration of the four and the seven, right? And in this case, if I'm in Ionian, right, my major scale. definitely has a little bit more decoration to it. Um, we really notice it, just because our ear is really trained for that major scale, but we will really notice it, especially if I have like, you know, my uh, mixolydian. You know, that flat seven. Um, it for, for my mixolydian, and it's the same idea. What I have is my major pentatonic, one, two, three, five, six, one. Then to start getting into the major modes, I have my one, two, three, four, I added the four in. Five, six, seven, I added my seven in, and then my one. So my major scale's untouched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Um, so if I wanna look at my mixolydian, I'm just, I'm, I added my four and I added my seven in, my decoration, but really what I'm gonna do is now take that seven and just flat it. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one. And now I'm in Mixolydian. Um, same thing if I did, wanna change it to Lydian, right? One, two, three, I'm gonna add my four in, but I'm gonna make it sharp, sharp four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, sharp, four, five, six, seven. Right? More decoration that we can have. Right? And I love that. I love Lydia mode. Um, so don't be afraid to go back to your pentatonics if you're improvising within um, one of the modes. And then really look at those and say, like, okay, I have my major pentatonic and I just added my four and my seven, right? Uh, for my major scale. I flatted the seven for Mixolydian, right? I put that seven back to natural, but I sharped my four for Lydian, okay? Um, and then the same with the minor, minor pentatonic. One, flat, three, four, five, flat, seven. Cool, those are in all the modes. So I added my two, and I added my flat six for my natural minor, right, my Aeolian. Sorry, Aeolian, natural minor. I, I, I do always put, I, if we're talking modally, I should say Aeolian. Um, so Aeolian has a two and a flat six. And then I could say, all right, two and a natural six. Okay, cool, now I'm a Dorian, right? 
by pentatonic notes don't change. Um, and then uh, same thing if I want to get to Phrygian, right? My flat six again and a flat two. You know, so um, I hope that's helpful. I know that's a lot. Uh, if I if, if I go into detail about about the the number system, um, I'll be here forever, and you'll be here forever. <laughs> you probably won't. You probably won't watch the whole thing. Um, so I just wanted to make that a little quick. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. Um, just something that I really like to to do is to take the modes and sort of relate them back to the pentatonics, um, especially if everybody is. Uh, at ease within the pentatonic, and then oh, adding some of the, the the modal notes gets a little a little bit more difficult. So, any questions? Comment below.